A DC power supply is on most test benches and used for product research, verification, repair, and education. A fast-growing billion-dollar market. You might think it's basic, just providing voltage, current, and power. But understanding those three basic units is the key to recommending the right power supply for your customers. Customers often ask for power supplies with a certain voltage and current range, but it's also important to ask for what maximum power they need. I'll explain later, but first let's get you comfortable with all of those units. Voltage in volts is for potential. Think of it like water pressure. The more pressure, the higher a fountain can get. Current, measured in amps, is like flow rate. A bigger pipe can pass more water or current. Power is the rate of energy transferred. Power is voltage times current, or P equals V times A. In water terms, it's like gallons per minute. Ask what power is required because sometimes a customer wants to test at higher voltages or higher currents but doesn't need both at the same time. They don't need more power, which would raise the price of a supply. Some power supplies can output max voltage and current at the same time, so their output is a simple multiple of those. But some supplies are auto-ranging offering more flexibility with higher voltages and higher current ranges, providing any combination to a maximum power rating. That's why asking what power they need is so important. If you just ask for the maximum voltage and current, you might specify a big monster supply that they don't need and your offer won't be competitive. So ask what voltage, current and power they need and match that to the right key site supply. Three simple questions that can be very powerful. Good selling.